G'day, I'm Funky. I'm just showing this quick way of doing windows for the uh, V8 Factor mod for R Factor. Um, I've got a bit of a time limit here, so I'll just do it very quickly. First of all, to select your marquee tool, grab a little section of the window like so. And you go Edit, Copy, and Edit, Paste. In this case, I'm just going to use the sh keyboard shortcuts, which is Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V. See, it's popped in a new layer there. Just drag it down over the top. Number seven's gone. We need to merge the layers, which is Control E on your keyboard. To get rid of this section down here, just grab a chunk down there like that. Once again, Control C, Control V. Just drag it across. And you just duplicate the layer here. Once again, just merge your layers down. Control E. Or you can go here to layer, merge layers. Now to get rid of this number 7 here, it's a little bit trickier. Just grab a section of this down here like that. Control C, Control V. You can see it's popped it there, it's just overlaid. Just go Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical. And just move it up over the top. Like so. Get rid of any excess that you've got hanging over. Once again, just merge your layers, which is Control E. Okay, it's basically done. Just for time purposes, I'm not going to do this. Next, we just click on the Channels palette here. Select the Alpha channel. Grab your Color Picker and just pick it up from this section of the window, just here. Or basically any part of the window that's the lighter grey, not the black. Okay, grab your Paintbrush and just paint over the text that you want to get rid of. Sorry, the tube's not a little bit more detailed, but there's a file limit here. Okay, so as you can see, that text is gone. <coughs> Excuse me, back onto the RGB channel. Back to the layers. Okay, next, we want to put some text on the window. Arial black's a good font. We don't want it in black, we want it in white. And put the text on. Move it to where you want it. Probably want a number as well. Okay. Just to save time, you can just duplicate this layer. These are normally a yellowy colour. And they're also a little bit askew, they're not actually dead straight on the window. Like so. Next what you do is you merge your text layers. Now you can only do this in Photoshop 7, I don't know how to do this in CS. So, what you do is you control click the layer and it will load the layer as a selection. And you go to channels, back to the alpha channel again, notice that there's a marquee. Go to your colour picker, just check web only colour, select pitch black. And then just make sure that you fill each individual marquee. And you can drop your selection. And you notice that the 25s and the funkies on the window now. Back to RGB channel. Once again, merge your layers. Control E, or you can do it from the menu. 
and you just go file save as we want to save it as a DDS because it's a window it has alpha channels so we must have alpha channels selected I'm not going to save over the JDR one I'll save over this one here which is my team you just click save now for normal car parts um, pit boxes etc you have the XT1 with the no alpha one for the windows you need to have the interpolated alpha one the DXT5 don't change anything else just click save that's it done it'll now show up windows in game hope it helps catch ya